Hello, I'm trying something new today. I'm sitting on the main square of San Ignacio Guasú, a city in South Paraguay, which is famous for having been the first of the Jesuit missions to be established here in 1609. And this place is famous for a lot of things, the first of which is for having been the first Jesuit reduction. I don't know if you have read about uh, the missionary work where they reduced the, 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 the local population to, a, to one place in order to avoid the persecution from, from the Bandeirantes from Brazil. And so this was the first of the Jesuit missions that numbered over 80 in total, and uh, of which about 30 still survive in some form. Besides physically surviving some, uh, you know, I'm going to show later on, like the church behind me, and this whole square was part of the Jesuit mission, uh, we still have uh, places still working in connection with the Catholic Church. The second claim to fame of San Ignacio Iguazu is that it is the birthplace of football, of soccer. The Jesuit priests, when they, they arrived here, they wrote that the Guarani had a weird game that they played with the feet years before Europe learned about uh, playing something with the feet, with their feet. and. Uh, Years before, again, England uh, announced to the world the creation of football. This is very interesting. And this is right where I am, maybe in this square. You see this square, this beautiful park? Maybe this park was a, a native football field, you know, championship uh, or, or amusement location. The name of this kind of football in the Guarani language is manga nyembosarai. Nyanga nyembosarai. Manga means ball. And uh, a ball made as, as in Brazil we are used to, in, in the rubber producing area, we produce balls from the rubber before selling them, selling the, the, the product to the market. So they also produced, uh, they milked some trees and uh, they made their balls and they played. That's, that's where football was born. I don't know if you have been to Paraguay, but if you haven't, one of the most important things in Paraguay is the music. Paraguay has a music called Guarania. And the soul of Guarania is the Paraguayan harp. So the Paraguayan harp was also introduced in Paraguay for the first time in this place, where Indians were also, besides being football players, they were also musicians. And later on today, I hope to be able to do something like this in a place called Tanyarandu. Tanyarandu is another claim to fame of Taninashi Guasu in the sense that it is the only uh, Jesuit mission uh, remains of some sort that can that have in their hands ways to prove that not all Indians accepted being reduced, being Christianized, and accept Christianity. Some of them decided not to join and went to live in a place. So I believe that the priests told them that if they left the reduction, if they left the community and went to live in the jungle alone, they would be with the devil. So they said, let it be. So Tanyarandu means something like that. You know, if we are going to live with the devil, we are going to live with the devil. That's what the word somehow means. Thank you very much. I hope you, I hope I'll be back. And I hope I'll be able to continue uh, recording things in English. Thank you very much.